In this video, I will explain the ADF GVX cipher. So this is a cipher that was originally used by the German army in World War I to secretly send messages by telegraph. Now here's the idea behind the cipher. Let's say we have the plain text, math is fun, and we would like to use this cipher to encrypt this message. How could we do that? Well, the first step is we need to build something called a Polybius square. This is a six by six square, which the column headers are ADF GVX, and the row headers are also ADF GVX. Next, we have to fill this square with the letters of the alphabet A through Z, in which each letter only appears once, along with the digits 0 through 9. So for this one, we've just filled it in in a random manner in which all of the letters A through Z, along with the digits 0 through 9, are all contained within this square. And we'll notice that there are 26 total letters and 10 total digits, so that adds up to the 36 squares that we perfectly need to fill in this Polybius square. So once you've constructed this square in a way that you like, the next step is go letter by letter of the plain text and convert it into the row names and then the column names. So for example, M, let's find M inside of this square. So here's M. What we're going to do is rewrite M as the row header and then the column header. So M is going to become GF. So we'll write GF. Next, we'll move on to A. So let's find A within the square. So here's A. The row header is A, and the column header is F. So we'll write it as AF. And next, we'll move on to T. So we'll find T within this square. Here's T. The row header that corresponds to T is F, and the column header is A. So we'll write FA. And we're just going to repeat this process for every single letter in the plain text. All right, so after we have encrypted all of the letters in Math is Fun, here's what we end up with, this string right here. And I like to call this the substitution string or the substitution text. So once we've found this substitution string, there's one more step that we have to take to get our final cipher text. And that is we have to pick something known as a keyword, which is a relatively short word. So for this example, let's just say we want to use the keyword life, L-I-F-E. Here's what we do. We write out the keyword L-I-F-E. Now we're going to write this substitution string underneath L-I-F-E, starting with the very first letter of L. So we'll write G, so we'll write a G right here, and then we'll write F, and then we'll write A, and then F. Once we reach the end of this row, we'll just start with a new row. So we've written these four letters, now we start with the next F, A, D, V. So let's write that, F, A, D, V. And we reach the end of the row, so we'll start on a new row again. So we have A, 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 G. So let's write that, A, 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 G. We reach the end of the row, so we'll start a new row. V, A, G, D, V, A, D, G. And then lastly, we just have G and G. So this last row will not be completely filled in, but that's okay. Now what we need to do is label the letters in the keyword based on their alphabetical position. So for example, L-I-F-E, the first letter that appears in the alphabet among those letters is E. So if we want, we can write a little one above the E. The next letter that would appear would be F. That's the next letter in the alphabet among these remaining letters. So we'll label that as a two. Next, I would come next, so that'll be our three. And then L would appear last in the alphabet out of these four characters. So we'll label that as four. Now the final step to writing our ciphertext is we're going to write the results in column form based on this order of one, two, three, four. So for example, this column will be written first. So we'll write F, V, G, G. So let's write that. So our ciphertext will start as F, V, G, G. Next, we need to identify column two. So that's this column right here. We'll go ahead and write these letters next. A, D, A, D. So let's write A, D, A, D. Next, we'll move on to column three, which is F, A, 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 G. F, A, 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 G. And then lastly, we'll do column four, which is this column. So G, F, A, V, G. So this will be our final ciphertext. This is how we can encrypt the phrase, math is fun, using the ADF GVX cipher. Okay, let's say instead you're given ciphertext and you want to decrypt it using the ADF GVX cipher. In order to decrypt it, you have to know the original Polybius square that was used 
to encrypt it, and you have to know the keyword that was used to encrypt it. So once you know those two things, the next step is we want to write out this ciphertext within this keyword grid right here. And the way that we're going to do that is we first need to count how many characters are actually in this ciphertext. So if you count out these characters, you'll find there's 18 total characters. Next, you need to divide that by the number of characters in the keyword. So there are four characters in life, so 18 divided by four. If you do 18 divided by four, you'll get four with a remainder of two. So what that means is that this keyword grid right here, it's going to have four full rows and the last row is only going to have two characters in it. So here's what this would look like visually. So we'll just note that these two positions right here in this keyword grid, they're not going to contain a character. So we need to keep that in mind. So the next step is we need to start writing this ciphertext into the columns of this keyword grid based on alphabetical order. So we said that E is going to be column one since it's the first letter that appears in the alphabet among these letters. We'll write F, so the first letter right here, then we'll write V, so the next letter, and then G, and then D. And we already know that this space right here will be blank. So that means we need to move on to column two. So column two we identified as this column right here. So we'll just pick up where we left off. So next we'll write an A. So we'll say A, and then D, and then A, and then G. And we'll fill in the rest of the keyword grid in this manner. All right, the next step is we need to figure out what was our substitution text. So remember, all we have to do to figure that out is just write these rows in order. So we'll write GFAF, and then we'll move to the next row and write FADV, and then we'll continue to write the rest of the rows. Now, once we've written out this entire substitution string, the very last step to get our plain text is to convert this back to the letters from the Polybius square. So for example, the first two letters we know will correspond to GF. So if we identify row G in column F, that corresponds to the letter M inside the Polybius square. So that means GF will correspond to M. Next, we can move to the next pair, which is AF. So if we look at our Polybius square, the row A in column F corresponds to A in the Polybius square. So we'll write an A, and then we can move on to the next pair of FA. So if we identify row F, column A, that corresponds to a character of T, and we'll just continue in this manner to decode the entire substitution string. And we will find that the plain text is math is fun. So that is how you can encrypt and decrypt messages using the ADF GVX cipher.